All right, guys, I just want to share with you real quick this Richard Legrand. Now, this is a brand that I had a bunch of people tell me about that was a great value proposition. This is the Mark I of the, is it an Odyssey, I guess? Um, spelled a little different than I'm used to, but um, th this is a Mark I. James sent it in. A viewer of the channel, he sent in this and a few other watches. This is the Mark I, so first iteration. Now, the reason that's important because there's been changes. I'm not sure what the change was on Mark II, but I did just go look at their website. I'll put a link in the description. And they are doing pre-orders right now on the Mark III, and they're doing some different dials. They're doing some fun color play. It has a different case back. I think it's like 3D. It's you know it has some depth to it. it has some character to the uh, new case back that's going to be on there. And oh, the big big change. They're also going with this one has the Seiko NH35 in it. So it's going to have a ghost date wheel and everything because it's a no date dial. Um, and it's fine, you know, it's, but it's, you know, what is it, beta 21.6 or something. Um, the new Mark III is going to have the Myota 9039, so it's going to have um, an actual no-date movement, and it's going to be at uh, 28. So it's going to be a 4 hertz movement, um, a little bit smoother sweep, if, if you care about that thing. Um, I'm indifferent. I think they're both good movements. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I actually prefer the Myota. Um, especially on a no date if they're going to actually go through the trouble of using the 9039. I think the Mark III is a really good option. I think through October their price on the pre-order on the Mark III is $299. Like I, like I said, go, go click the link in the description and then it, in November it'll go up and then the full price. Even at the full price I think it was like $369. Pretty good value proposition really. Um, the case is not anything like crazy as far as character involved in it. It's pretty... Um, simple in design, if you will, but that's okay um, to do that occasionally on a watch, in my opinion. So you don't always need like an insane case or features or anything like that if the size is good, and the size is good on this one. I measure at 41.8, and that is the actual 120 click, you know, deep coin bezel. The case is actually a little bit narrower, closer to 41. So that's the protrusion of the 120 click bezel. Great bezel action, sounds good, and uh, everything lines up. And it's gonna be loomed, I'll do a loom shot of course. Um, so 41.8 basically on the top side, 48 lug to lug, non-drilled lugs, totally fine with that, it keeps a nice clean side profile. 13.8 uh, thick on a slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside. And a 20 mil lug width. The bracelet that it comes with does taper down to an 18 mil. The bracelet, um, it's fine. I'm not in love with it. I would definitely probably, definitely probably, right? Uh, I would do probably a strap or a NATO or something like that, even though I am a bracelet guy. Uh, and maybe the newer ones, the bracelet's improved, but um, I don't know. It's not a great bracelet. It would be adequate, I guess. I'm sure the bracelet's fine on the watch, but it, I don't know. I get the feeling that it kind of cheapens the watch a little bit, and it doesn't, it doesn't need help in that department. It needs to be, you know, uh, a nice silicone strap like this, which I'm not even sure where this one come from. I don't know if this is shipped with the watch. I really don't know. Um, or, you know, a nice NATO or something of that nature, whatever your preference is. Screw down crown. You're going to have 200 meter water resist. You can see the brushing and everything is really smooth. Signed crown. Um, there's a there's actually a pretty nice pop to the crown. Gives you a nice little pop. Of course, you have the ghost date with little, like I said. Very, very little uh, crown play on that. No crown guards on this, so pretty simple, clean look to it. You know, good timekeeping, all that good stuff. Let me pop this on wrist so you can get a look at what it's going to be if you have a wrist similar to mine at seven and a quarter. kind of get the feeling it's shipped with this this silicone strap I could be wrong oh yeah it's signed RL I just noticed that so it must come with this strap and the bracelet so I would wear it on this strap or I would you know throw a Barton silicone on there or a toxic NATO or a I don't you guys know all the NATOs I don't know all the NATOs that great so 
But great looking colors, the new ones especially, if you look, they got like a seafoam green and they have some radiant dials and stuff like that. So really good value proposition app. Potentially that 300 or just under, certainly on the used market, if you look on the used market, you're going to be able to score these probably for 150. They're not going to hold their value super great, but I feel like they're going to bottom out. I feel like the bottom is probably going to be like 150 uh, because you still have a really good automatic watch, good proportions, good materials, sapphire crystal. Um, if you look at the bezel insert, that has got to be that's some sort of polished out ceramic. So that's really good. This one looks like it actually has a scratch or can't really be a crack at 45. It's got to be a little scratch which is difficult to do with ceramic. So I don't, I don't know what James did, but he did it. He did a good job of doing it. And of course you're going to have, well, let's just jump into that loom shot because I'm assuming those Arabics are loomed out too. The loom on it is going to be a BGW-9. Uh, this does not look like BGW-9. On the website it says BGW-9, so I don't know if they switched to that. Maybe the Mark 1s they used some sort of super luminova. It is not blue. It is green. So, But it is loomed out pretty good. Um, it's not like, Helsin or Seiko good or anything like that, but it's loomed out pretty good. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to James for lending this in. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next vid.